Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to create a counting system with Ultralytics. So we're basically going to run object detection, object tracking, and also having a counting system running with just a few lines of code. And then we're going to show you how we can use Ultralytics for that. So let's just jump straight into the documentation. If we go inside these guides, they have a new tab for real world projects. We already have the security alarm system. If you want to check that out, we already have a video about that. If you just click in here, you're able to find all these videos that we have on the Ultralytics channel, also here in the documentations. So right now we're going to do this update counting. So for counting systems, you can use them for a lot of different kind of things. It could be in production lines. If you have a conveyor build, you want to count the number of objects or products coming out of production lines. It could also be like cars driving in and out of the frame, which is what we're going to try out in this video here. So update counting is actually like pretty cool and you can do it with only a few lines of code with Ultralytics directly. So before we can do optic counting, we actually like need to track the optics over time because if we just have individual frames, we can not really assign a unique ID to each individual object and track that over time. And then by determining if it actually like crosses some threshold, some trap line, or even like a whole region. So if we go inside a region and go outside of that with an object that we have tracked, which means that we have a specific ID, then we can actually like count the number of objects crossing that zone. So the advantage of object counting here is that we can have like these resource optimizations, enhance security, and also informed decision making. So this is really cool for informed decision making. Ma so this is really cool for informed decision making, especially like in production lines and so on. We can see some of the real world applications we have in logistics. We can also have it in different production lines and so on, but also in various different domains. It could be like cars, also fish here, as we can see on the right. So basically just have this region here. We have our optic tracking running together with our optic detection. And then we're just tracking these optics over time with unique IDs. And then we can count them based on these zones or trap lines. So here we can see the example that we have. We're going to test this out in just a couple of seconds in code. And then you'll be able to see how we can run object counting with Ultralytics. So we basically just need to set up this video capture here. It could be a video file, but it could also be like a webcam stream. Then we can set up an optic counter directly from Ultralytics. If you can't import the solutions here from Ultralytics, make sure that you have upgraded the pip package for Ultralytics, and then you should be good to go. Then we can create an instance of our optic counter. We specify a region for our point. So basically the region that we saw in the examples up above. Then we can set some different arguments if you want to view the image, um, the different region points, class names, and also if you want to draw the tracks of the optics that we're tracking over time. We can see all the optional arguments down here at the bottom. Then we can open up a video capture, load in the frame from a video stream or from a webcam. And then we can basically just call this model.track. We throw in the image that we want to do a detection on and also track those objects over time. We get our tracks back and then we can start this counting system with our tracks and also our frame where it is going to use these arguments that we set up here at the top. So this is everything that you have to do. It's actually like only a couple lines of code. You have your video capture, your model, update counting instance of the class here, set some different parameters, and then you just call model.track, start counting, and you have a whole system up and running with Ultralytics. So let's just jump straight into Python script. I've just copy pasted all of the things here from the example into a Python script, and then we're going to run it. We're going to run it on this example here. We basically just have some cars driving in two different lanes, and then we want to detect and track and count the number of cars coming towards us here. So this is the video stream that we're going to use. We just specify it here, and we're going to use the ULV8 small model. Rest of the code here is the exact same thing as in the documentation. So now we can just run it. We're going to open a new terminal, and then we have Python counting system, we're going to run it and then we will do the optic counting in just a second. There we go. Now we can see the results here. So we get our in count and also out count depending on if the cars are going in and out of this region. But here we can see that we're both doing optic check detection, optic tracking. We can even see the tracks here of the car and then we're going to count the number of cars coming in and also coming out of this bounding box or this region here that we're running. So again, you can run this on different applications and projects. So definitely try it out yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely test it out on your own projects and applications. It is really easy to set up or else I'll just see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.